What's up my crypto legends, in this episode we are taking a look at the Bitcoin price on the 4 hourly and yes we have broken out from this ascending wedge to the downside, now what support levels are going to hold nicely to get a massive bounce? This is what we're going to talk in today's episode. Now you know I'm a Bitcoin bull in the short and in the mid term, maybe in the immediate short term I'm a little bit bearish but this is why in today's episode we are taking a look at the 4 hourly, at the 1 hourly to see where we could get a potential bounce over right in the immediate short term. We're going to take a look at a Ethereum also because we did break out from this ascending channel. You know the measured target is coming all the way down to the $2,900 area. We're going to discuss this in today's episode to see where we could potentially bounce and continue to the upside. I am not looking for short positions. I am looking for better entries for some long positions guys. Remember if you are interested in trading check out Prime XBT. It's got the best bonus available down below by using my link in the description. You get 50% added to your deposit by using Bitcoin Census 50 as the promotion code, okay? This is my favorite day trading platform. For swing trading, I use Bybit because of the fees. Using my link in the description, you can get up to $1,610 worth of bonus, guys. Said this, let's dive in straight into the video. Hello there, Andy here. Welcome back to another episode of Bitcoin Census. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Daily to own Bitcoin cryptocurrency. I also do live streams to connect with the community. Not financial advisors, so don't buy or sell anything that I say. If you do so, do your own research. Let's dive in. Okay, now for the Bitcoin price on the four hourly, you know that we were talking about there's going to be some uh, potential bearish momentum here in the short midterm. A uh, short midterm would be a few days. Okay, we did see the price action getting a little bit exhausted. We had this ascending wedge, bearish divergence on the four hourly but now the question is where are we going to get this massive bounce right so let's zoom in here on the chart okay i would think in my opinion just so you're clear the ultimate bottom for bitcoin would be the thirty-eight thousand dollars right over here so now let's zoom in on the four hourly actually let's zoom in here on the one hourly and yeah let's be pretty clear to see what is happening here for the bitcoin price now we did clearly break out from this ascending wedge as you can see right over here we did actually break out from these higher lows right over there so this is pretty valid we might be getting a bounce here uh, as resistance and continuing to the downside now what i want to check okay is not short positions better entries for some potential long positions now let's zoom out here on this wedge and i'm going to show you one or uh, two or three most important levels that we might get a severe bounce because we do know that the measured target from this ascending wedge is coming all the way down to the thirty-eight thousand dollars okay this might happen but i'm pretty confident that we might be getting a bounce at forty two thousand five hundred or forty thousand dollar range now i'm going to explain why because this has been a major resistance let's go first with a forty two thousand five hundred six hundred dollar range it has been a major major resistance as you can see on the one hourly we touched twice over here as soon as we got up we did have two bounces here as support so this is a major level that might hold very very nicely as support we might have a leg down over here and then might consolidate and have the massive bounce okay this is not guaranteed these are only areas that we could potentially bounce all right so now let's zoom out again here and the forty thousand five hundred dollars if forty two thousand five hundred fails 40,500 40, is the next major support. I think this is going to be the um, one of the last points of support where we should be getting a bounce. The very last one is $38,000, which I'll explain why we should be getting a definite bounce around that area, in my opinion. So now... 40,500, we've seen major resistance right over here, major consolidation right over there, right? So now we do know that this area here where I have my orange box is also a major level where we should be getting some type of consolidation. Now let's zoom out here on the chart and this orange box where we do have the 40,500, it has been such a strong resistance right over here as you can see. This is why we have this orange box. This is the $40,500. Note that this is plus minus a few hundred dollars because because of the volatility. If I zoom out here still on the four hourly, I'm gonna show you how this has been a major level. This is why we've got it, okay? 40,500 as you can see right over there. So this should be holding very, very nicely as support. You do know that we do trade support and resistance breakout. So we do try and get in on the bounces. So, you know, if we do come all the way down to this area 
Me personally, I will be doing some live trading, okay, in some live streams. We are potentially gonna start re-entering some long positions here with low leverage. This is me, okay. This is I do think so that we are gonna get a massive bounce. Now, if the forty thousand five hundred dollar level fails, which I don't think is a very, very likely because it's very, very strong, we might see some type of volatility, you know, a couple of weeks down the uh, forty thousand dollar range, just like what happened here. We did have, you know, the $30,000 being a major, major support. But guess what, guys? This is crypto. We do see volatility. We did see a wick come all the way down to the $28,700 range. But this doesn't mean anything. This didn't mean that we are going to continue down. So a little bit of volatility fake out to the downside is very, very possible. That's why I think that 30, um, $38,000 is also in the cards with a little bit of volatility. This won't mean that we are going to come to lower levels, but expect volatility just like what happened right over here. Everybody was thinking that we were breaking $30,000 and we are going to go to 25 k Guess what? We got a massive bounce to the upside. So now this is what could potentially happen here also. A little bit of volatility if we did came down to the k uh, 38 k levels. Now also zooming out here, um, this is the scenario that I'm waiting for, guys. The bump and run scenario, if we did, came all the way down here. This would be around the 38, even 37K levels to get a massive bounce from the, these levels. So this is what I got for BTC. I am not looking to short positions because we could actually pump from here straight to the upside. If I go to the one hourly, you know, the volume is not extremely high from this breakout. I wouldn't be confident to short because we are still in a massive, huge uptrend as you can see over here. What I am looking is to get into better long positions. So I'm just going to wait for the price to potentially come back lower and then maybe look for some long opportunities. Remember, for experienced traders, Prime XBT has got the best bonus available. You get 50% added to your deposit. You just need to log in with my link in the description. Go to account and put Bitcoin Census 50 here as the promo code. You'll be getting 50% added to your deposit. I've got a full tutorial in the description to learn how to use this platform. This is what I got for BTC, guys. Remember, I'll be doing a live stream later on around about 3, 4 o'clock Central European time. So make sure to hit that notification bell. Now, let's take a look at Ethereum because Ethereum, we've been talking about this ascending channel for, you know, uh, a couple of weeks now, I think, since the, you know, potentially the 10th of August. So, yeah, over a week now here with this channel. Now, um, we finally broke out from the support range. The volume is higher from the rest of the week. As you can see, we do see that red candle and most of the volume, you know, here for the last few days has been much lower. So this could be a legit breakout. Now, I do think that, you know, we are potentially going to have that next leg down and the next leg down should be around the 2,900. We already hit 2,950, but the measured target, okay, technical target is getting the width of this channel. And, you know, from the breakout, we should be arriving to the $2,900 area. Now, do I think this area is going to be broken to the downside? Or are we going to get a massive bounce from here? Well, all depending eventually on what Bitcoin does, because if Bitcoin goes all the way down to the 40K, 38K levels, we could actually come all the way down to $2,600 for Ethereum. This is also a possibility. We might see a little bit of volatility, a little bit of fake outs to the downside, okay? Uh, it's not 100% sure that this area is going to hold. Now, everybody's going to freak out if we do break $2,900 and hit the $2,700 range, but I do think there's going to be a major, major bounce at this level. Now, let me zoom out here on the 4 hourly and explain why. You, I am still sticking to my prediction here this massive huge double bottom scenario that we've broken out we can see some volatility potentially hitting the $2,600 being a fake out and then continuing to the upside now the target is the $4,000 I've been talking about this here for weeks I'm going to still stick to this prediction but we might see a little bit of volatility going below 2900 now it's been a major major resistance as you can see right over there I've been talking about this a long time so guys I'm going to place some potential long orders if we do come down in between 2900 and 2600 and I'll do this live on some live streams now 
Uh, if 2,900 doesn't hold, my next level, ultimate level as support, being the ultimate level for Bitcoin, 30K, uh, 38K, the ultimate level here for Bit, um, Ethereum is going to be the $2,600 range. Now, why? Because it has been a very, very strong support and resistance zone, as you can see right over here. Even if I extend this on the four hourly, right over here, as you can see, we did have a point of touch here as resistance. We did have point of touch here as support, resistance right over there, also resistance here, a little bit of volatility, and now back up. So if this fails, I think this range is going to be highly volatile before we continue to the upside. Now, this would be the most bearish case scenario. If we do come down to those levels, I am expecting a massive bounce to the upside. Short term analysis, I do see that this is maybe going to potentially come down because on the four hourly, we do see the bearish divergence, all right? If we do go to the oversold territory, well, then, yeah, I think there's, there's going to be a massive bounce around this area. Okay, on the four hourly, we've already gone sideways on the bearish divergence. Potential leg down is very possible. 2,900, 2,600 is going to be a major bounce area, in my opinion. We'll be going to the oversold territory on the four hourly chart and then getting a nice recovery, in my opinion. So let's take a look here on the one hourly. And yeah, we can clearly see, okay, guys, that you know the price action has been getting exhausted. So this was very, very likely to have some type of correction. We've been talking about this now for the last week. Now, this is what I got for Ethereum. I just wanna note something here on the Bitcoin price, because if you are familiar with the bearish divergence, okay, on the RSI, even though if we come all the way down to the $40,000 range or $42,000 area, the RSI will have to go below this low over here, as you can see. Okay, right over here, we're almost touching this low. If we go to the oversold territory, this is gonna create hidden bearish divergence. What does this mean? That we are gonna create lower lows on the RSI and look at this, we see the $37,700 range, you know, being the low and then the higher low is gonna be around this area. So this is gonna be hidden bearish divergence if we see the scenario playing out. So this is very, very bullish. Hidden bullish divergence, what does it mean? This means that the trend is very, very likely to continue. The RSI will be going to oversold territory, will be creating lower lows on the RSI and higher lows on the price action, meaning that it's very likely that we are gonna get a bounce around this area so the trend can continue. This is my take, this is my opinion on the charts today, guys. If you haven't checked out the Bitcoin Census website, make sure to check it out. We've got exchange reviews here where you can find the best bonuses and the best fees. And we also got the latest technical analysis and news. Totally free information linked down below in the description. And if you haven't seen my tutorial of Bybit or PrimeXBT to learn how to trade on those platforms, video on the screen right now. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you in the next one.